Hello friends and welcome back again. This far we saw how to expand and hide the bottom sheet. We still have to build two more features to complete the app. The first one is rename record and delete one or many records. In this one, let's see how to delete records. So in the previous video, we added two buttons inside the bottom sheet, rename and delete. First of all, buttons should be disabled by default and to be able to distinguish the two states, we could use a different color. We already have one, so let's apply it. Inside the activity gallery, first of all, disable the image button for the delete by setting clickable to false. Now for the color, we won't change the background color, but the background tint color with background tint and set it to color gray dark disable that we created a long time ago. Now copy this and paste it for the text view as well and by the way we need to give it an id because we'll be needing it this one is uh, text view uh, delete okay let's do the same thing for the edit button clickable to false paste the tint color oh i made a mistake here for text view is not it's not background tint, it's text color. And jump down here, copy paste this here, and don't forget to give it an ID. This one is text view edit. Now save this and jump to the gather activity. In here first we need to bring these components here. So private late init var. First one is button rename of type image button. Copy paste this here. Change this to delete. Let's do the same thing for text views. Copy paste these two. Change image button to text view and this to TV for text view. By the way, to edit two lines or multiple lines, just hold Alt and click where you want to edit. And now bind them in the onCreate method, just here. First one is button rename find view by id and this one we named button edit not rename my mistake copy paste this a few times here it will be button delete and the id is button delete this one should be text view edit and text view delete let's change this one to text view and this one to text view delete okay now we're ready to go ahead so in edit mode both buttons should be enabled when an item is selected and disabled otherwise but when two or more items are selected only the lead button should stay clickable for the sake of simplicity Let's create functions to perform these actions since we'll be using them more than once. So after the onCreate method, create private fun and call the first one disable edit or disable rename. This one should first of all disable the button by making it is clickable to false then it should change its background tint paste it here background tint list should be equal to resource compat dot get color state list and this one takes three parameters first one is resources the second is the ID of the resource we're looking for. In our case, it's a color. 
and it's called dark gray disabled and the last one is the theme we're using the default one now place to the text view text view edit same thing set text color and copy paste this one and we're done for the disable rename let's duplicate this and rename this function to disable delete change button rename to button delete and tv edit to tv delete now we need two more functions to enable them so copy paste this here and change disable to enable and make clickable true and change these colors to gray dark another color we had now let's use them inside the on item click listener at the bottom here on item click listener if we are in edit mode first of all we should check how many items we have bar and be selected equals records count with a condition and this one is is checked so it will count every element inside records that has the property is checked set to true then when and be selected is equal to zero we should disable both buttons delete rename and delete the second case is when the selected elements is equal to one we should enable them both enable delete and enable rename and finally if we have more than one element selected we should disable the rename because we can't rename multiple items with the same name and enable the delete button if you go ahead and run the app now when you first hold a click on an item your buttons won't be enabled you must enable them as soon as you enter edit mode and that's inside the on item long click listener here at the end just add enable delete and enable rename we should also think about the button select all and if all is checked disable edit and enable delete and if nothing is checked disable both of them simply if all checked disable rename and enable delete otherwise disable both of them now before deleting a record we should ask for user confirmation using the alert dialog class so let's add a click listener on button delete set on item click listener or set on click listener create another dialog builder val builder equals alert dialog dot builder give it this as an argument for the context then add a title builder dot set title something like delete record then set a message to display in a dialog with the number of items to delete so let's count them another time val nb records equals record that count with a condition it dot is checked then builder dot set message are you sure you want to delete you want to delete 
NB records. Record with S between parentheses and a question mark. Now we need to handle the buttons. So first one is builder dot set positive button. Give it a text. This one should display delete and then the action to perform. For now, we'll leave it here. We'll come back later. Let's copy paste this for the negative button. In this way, we have two buttons and the other one is cancel. And it does nothing. Okay, let's deal with the delete button. First, we need to find all checked records in a list, call it to delete and record that filter with a condition. The same one as before is checked and transform it to an array because our function will be need an array. Then inside a global scope called the db delete method we created a long time ago. Global scope dot launch and call the db dot the audio record dao and it had a delete method two actually one to delete one record and another to delete a list of records. We'll use the second one and we give it our list. Also, we should remove them from the local record we're using to display our recycle view and then notify the recycler view to update itself. And cause we can't change UI from here, as we've seen before, we'll need to run it inside run on UI thread. Just records dot remove all to delete. Then call the adapter and tell it to notify dataset change. Well, we should also leave edit mode when we're done and to avoid duplicating code, let's create another function and call it leave edit mode. Just outside the on create. Private fun, leave edit mode. and copy paste the content of button close here copy everything instead call leave edit mode then jump to leave edit mode and paste everything here and call it inside the run on ui thread which was uh, just here no, not this one. It was uh, here. Leave it mode. And that's because I misspelled it. It should be leave edit mode. Okay, we're good to go. Let's run this. Here we have our records. Long click on one of them. We have our button enabled. Now they are disabled, select one, delete. We forgot something. We didn't tell the dialog alert to show. So let's find it. Where is it? Uh, here, just after this, let's build the dialog. Val dialog equal builder dot create then show it now we're good rerun this okay select this one delete we have our dialog if we click here nothing happens if we delete the record disappears and the edit mode also if we select this one select all of them we only have delete it tells us that we have four records to delete. 
console. If we reclicked here, the button is disabled again. We finished with this one. With the next one, let's see how to rename a record using a custom alert dialog. See you then.